Let's take a real life example now of vector components. So we all know the leaning tower of Pisa and it's leaning at an angle of 84.5 degrees. Now I think it's actually not quite this bad anymore. They propped it up a little bit, but we'll go with this angle. And we want to know what is the length of the shadow when the sun is directly overhead. Now, of course, in real life, the sun's probably a little farther away than that, but... Uh, <laughs> so, the tower is 56 meters in length, and we want to find the x component. Let's draw another Try, let's draw our vector triangle here. So the hypotenuse, 56 meters. And I've exaggerated the angle. It's actually much more vertical than this. And we want to know what is this x component. Well, we can draw our right triangle. And then we just solve the vector problem. Cosine of the angle is equal to the adjacent side, which we've labeled as x, divided by the hypotenuse, which is 56 meters. Now, if we, we bring the 56 to the other side, by multiplying both sides by 56. Remember, what you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other side. So on this side, the 56 cancels. And now we're left with 56 meters times cosine of 84.5 degrees. Oops, smart board's not, very, not as quick as I am. And therefore, multiplying this out, we get that the shadow of the leaning tower of Pisa, in other words, the x component, is equal to 5.4 meters.